again, and this time he's bringing the sweet as in dessert. So we are all good for our main. Uh, I really believe in dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a big believer in dessert, so. Dessert has to happen, it especially needs to when happen. you invite people to your house. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something. Yes. Now, I'm not like opposed to just getting an ice cream bar and be like, here you go. <laughs> if if it's a family, too. you know what I mean? And, and like when we talk about apple crumble, I always compare like an apple crumble to a pie. Yes. I love my family, but I don't love them enough to bake a pie. <laughs> right? A pie's what a lot. I, it's a lot. And I feel mm -hmm. like the apple crumble, you get the same flavor, actually better textures, and it's fast. And it is fast. So that's what we're after today. So it's an apple, blueberry, coconut? Oh, yeah. Crumble? Oh, right. It's a lot of good things. It's so like, you know, you core your apples, but if you use Granny Smith's, you can go skin on. And then mm -hmm. just don't, you know, you can just use a knife and kind of slice them really thin. Because that's actually a tart apple and it'll stand up. I love the so Granny Smith's for that this, tartness. Yeah, a little mm. bit. You know, so we can add more sugar if we have the tartness. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I'm after. And just slice it in the bowl, right? Okay. Then what we're going to do is a little bit, here's a secret, to be honest with you, a little bit of icing sugar. And the icing sugar is good for sweetness, but it also has cornstarch in it. Oh. So the liquid that does come out of the apples, it's actually going to hold it together so it doesn't turn into a big mess. Oh, that's nice. Right? Okay. And so you put some coconut in there. Coconut. And some blueberries. Blueberries. So now we have some flavors going on. We've got some good things. Apples are in season right now, so jump on it. But this Looks recipe, you can start to finish it in like 28 minutes. Oh, that's good. Right? From the time you started to the time it's on the, the Obviously plate. he timed it. It's 28 28 minutes, minutes maybe 34 seconds. Maybe in around that area. And 34 seconds. Yes, yeah, but you're in there That's tight. Good. So then for the crust, we've got oats, yeah. quick oats, like one minute. We've got flax. some flax seeds. Oh, nice. Yeah, isn't that nice? That's great. Right? A little bit of health in there. Some yeah. chia. And the chia is also going to soak up the moisture. Yes. A little bit of brown sugar because brown sugar is tasty. Yeah, I love right? it. I love it. The usual suspect, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Right? These so are just, good. Uh, you know, I like that you always throw some good... Um, nutrient dense uh, items in there into all of your recipes it's because I'm sure it's because of Sarah anywhere you can sneak it in right no it's and good and also your kid but his wife's a model and and she looks phenomenal so you always have to it's the chia seeds it's the chia <laughs> yeah, right there it and it's the flax it's definitely not that's what it is it's definitely not the butter right <laughs> so you need a bit of butter but if you're going to have the butter you need the chia seeds right so it all works out and then it's as simple as just stirring this up and kind of getting the butter in there right okay so now here's where this this recipe is going to take a really interesting twist because normally you'd put this in a nonstick pan, you'd like yeah. put it in the oven, you watch about overboiling, that kind of stuff. No, we are going to use the tea fowl act fry. You're going to put the whole thing right? in, the in, the in the act fry. And hear me out, Thanksgiving, you know, your, your oven's full of stuffing, it's full of other things, you got other things going on. This is going to be fast, it's going to be effortless, and it's going to be clean. Okay. So we take the paddle out, that just comes out with a little pop. Mm -hmm. And then if you take a look at this, this goes in the, in the dishwasher. Oh, so nice. I'm all about doing it fast, doing it clean, doing it simple, and then yeah. pop it in the dishwasher. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our apples, right? We're going to pour those in there. Okay. And then it's kind of got a handle on it too, which kind of makes it nice and like yeah. shake it around. And then we get our crumble on top. I love the I love the oaty part. The oaty part, mm. the vanilla, the if cinnamon. You're a bread like lover it's, like me. It's all Anything the classic that, flavors. Yeah, at all the grains. Right. Love it. And I got to tell you. Yesterday, I'm prepping this, I'm testing the recipe, and everyone was in the house, they're like, the house smells so oh, good, right? I can and imagine. And that's the other thing with the active fry. It is, it, it kind of releases those aromas, but yeah. the house doesn't get too hot because you don't have the oven on. Right. Right? So then we come over here, click this in, go like that. You ready for this? Ready. And then you just hit the 20-minute button. So all you have to do is make sure that you start with the, with the fruits at the bottom. Yep. Uh, you put the coating on the top, like whatever is going to be the crisp part of it on top, mm -hmm. and then you let it go. 20 minutes. Okay. You can let it sit. You can start this now. Yeah. You can just let it go. You let it go. It's just going to do its, it's just thing. Gonna We're sit not going to open it. And it'll just stay warm. You can keep okay. it there, right? So then you after dinner, stay. you're like, oh, I worked so hard all day, guys. You know, I've been going really hard. And oh, they're I like, what's going on? And then check this out. It's oh, done. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> This is beautiful. And then you just want to get like a nice bowl. Remember, it's oh. supposed to be crumbly. Oh. That's, that's what makes it better than a pie, oh. right? And then you oh. can just take it, you know, the coconuts in there, oh. a little bit of ice cream. Wait, we're not done yet. There's more. We're not done yet. Wait, and then it's like, oh. <laughs> Right? This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, wow. He went all out. There you go. So this is what you get for not baking a pie. You went the extra, extra <laughs> effort there with the crumble. It's beautiful. CityLine.tv for that recipe.